So it's piss pouring cats and dogs outside and I thought why not take the downtime between videos to show you guys uh, some pretty unsafe things that I found in testing. And over the past few months, a lot of people have given a lot of great comments regarding like the safety of certain FR gear and, and safety of welding helmets and lenses and all of that stuff. And I kind of got to experimenting here like I always do. I always get off track on stuff and next thing you know, I find myself in a wormhole. And that's kind of what we're covering here is a wormhole today. But I sat out and tested some crap around the shop and had some pretty interesting results. And that's why I'm going to share it with you. So let's start out by talking about this. This is a neck sleeve. It's made by Benchmark FR and it's sold kind of for welders that you can put it on your neck and it protects you against burns. Now these are commonly used in the electrical field, I guess. I'm not an electrician, so I don't know anything about that. But welders very commonly use these to protect from burns per se. Now this is so thin, I don't really know that if you're welding some 6010 overhead that this is gonna do much to help you. But hey, it's better than your bare skin. But I thought, well, Based on a viewer's question of, well, does FR protect against UV light? Well, I thought I would test this because I've worn this quite a bit. This is not the one that I keep that I wear more often. And what I did is I've had this from a previous video. This card detects UV light and then I have a UV light source. And I thought, okay, well, I tested helmets in a previous video. Why not test FR material? So the cards underneath here. And I'm just going to hold this light and flash it over it, not for a very long time. And if the cart turns purple, it means that UV light is leaking through it. That's probably enough. Let's look at the card. As you can see, it picked up some UV light. And if I more or less bring it closer, It picked up even more. Now, the reason this is concerning to me is that, well, if you wear something like this, kind of for welding, the implication would be, well, my neck is not only protected against burns, but since it's clothing, it will protect you against UV light. And the truth is, is that this does not protect against UV light. Now, you might be saying, well, this is a concentrated form of UV, so it's more likely to trigger that, and you're partially correct, but so is a welding arc. So what I'm getting at is just because you're wearing clothing that says FR resistant does not mean that you're protected against UV light. And if you know anything about UV light, it's a great way to catch skin cancer. And that's why I preach to you guys out there, wear proper clothing to protect you against UV light. And I don't really, I'm not the kind of guy to tell you what to do with your life, but when I see YouTubers' uh, channels welding with short sleeve shirts and stuff, to me, you might as well be smoking arsenic lace cigarettes at that point, because you're guaranteed to get skin cancer welding all the time with short sleeve shirts on, and don't do it. Well, if you're wearing something like this thinking your neck's protected, and let's face it, if you're TIG welding on a bench over something, especially like this table, you could get UV reflecting off of this underneath your hood and burn your neck, or just indirect if you're welding out of position where your neck's exposed because your hood doesn't cover it. So wearing something like this is not guaranteed protection. Now, I'm not bashing Benchmark FR's equipment here, their, their product. Nowhere do they claim that this protects against UV. So they're not telling you it does something that it doesn't. So this is a fine product for protection from for FR for a little bit of protection. But I think that if you're buying something like this, you got to be extremely careful because I thought, stupidly, if I wore this that somehow I wouldn't get a sunburn on my neck welding. Well, guess what? The reason I know that there's an issue with this and why I tested it is because I was welding 6010 out of position uh, underneath some stuff and I got a neck burn and I couldn't figure out how that was possible. Well, I brought this to the shop, tested it. Oh, well, that's why it doesn't block UV. So be careful on what you buy. Now, here's a welding cap, please minus the filth. And this I tested here and due to the thickness of the material, 
this uh, has really no effect whatsoever. Now, granted, odds of you getting a sunburn on your top of your noggin pretty slim. And a good rule of thumb is if you can see light through it when you hold it up to a light bulb, you probably are going to get UV light through it. And that's definitely the case with this. At two layers deep, you probably wouldn't, but it's going to be a hell of a lot hotter. And guess what? They don't make it like that. So be careful about that, guys. All right. Now, on more pressing, interesting, dangerous, totally janky crap, this thing. Now, let's look at this up close. So I bought this as part of like sort of a prank I was going to do. I was basically going to make a custom welding hood and use this as the welding lens part. But anyways, bought it off of Amazon. And guess what? This thing's pretty unsafe. And I'll show you how in a second. But you look at stuff like this is made in China junk and it says, okay, Canadian CSA Z94 ANSI. I looked up what these standards are and I'll put them up now. But basically that has to do with the safety aspect of the lens. It has nothing to do with the safety of it as a welding filter. Now this has adjustable shade 8 to 12, no sensitivity adjustment and that's it. And now you would think that this would be safe to use as did I. And based on the company's information on Amazon, you would think that this would be safe to use. But let me show you why it's not. So same card as I had before. As you can see, it's not tripped or purple or anything. And we're going to put it in this thing and then shine the light into it for like 15 seconds. Now, I've done this same test on the channel on some cheaper welding hoods as well as some more expensive ones. And none of them, even the cheap ones had an issue passing this, aka the card didn't turn any color when exposed to UV light. And that's because all normal welding helmets, hoods, they block 100% of UV light even in the undarkened state. So basically, you might get flashed with a bright light, which isn't good, but the eye damage from the UV exposure is still blocked out even if it doesn't trip, which is why like, if you get flashed with an auto darkening, they all should be safe to where you're not going to get UV. You may still get eye pain from the, like I said, the bright light, but it still should be reasonably safe. Now this thing on the other hand, and I'll shut off the light and we'll look at the card. Clear evidence of ultraviolet leaking through this lens setup. Now on the scale, it says more or less low to moderate, but you shouldn't have any exposure with this. Now, a couple things on that. One, this was in the undarkened state. I've tested it when it is dark and it blocks out a little bit more UV. So arguably it's a little bit safer when it's in a darkened state. However, like I said, any normal welding hood should block out UV 100% of the time. This does not. What that means is if you were to do a bunch of welding with this, you may get eye pain and your eyes may get what's called arc eye where it feels like you have sand in your eye and it's no fun and it causes eye damage, especially if you use something like this over time, it's not good. So it really goes to show that you shouldn't be buying cheap stuff like I did when I bought this on Amazon. And if you care about the health of your eyes, you should probably buy from a reputable company. Because let's face it, guys, what are the odds of you testing something that you bought with something like this? You're just going to assume, like I did, that it's safe to use. Especially when they put all sorts of ANSI standard numbers on here, you just figure that it's compliant. Well, guess what? This is not stamped with any kind of ARC protection for your eyes standards. So therefore, I guess they're not lying, but it's still unsafe to use. And it's pretty crazy that something like this could be marketed. But I guess what do we expect buying stuff on Amazon? I mean, if this company were to get sued over this product, they would just bankrupt themselves and you would never hear of it. Well, you have eye damage and you're never going to be able to do anything about it. So be smart about stuff. All right, let's go to conclusion. Well, what did we learn today? Well, I learned that cheap Amazon special stuff is probably janky, dangerous, unsafe junk. And this certainly proved it. If a $30 welding hood from Hazard Frock can do a better job than this, what does that tell us? You know, and it really, I mean, it goes without saying that when it comes to your health, do you want to put your health in the hands of some fly-by-night company on Amazon 
that changes names every six months? Or would you want to invest in something like Lincoln or Miller or, or literally even Harbor Freight where you have someone to go after if they release dangerous products that can hurt you? I don't know. It's a thought. Be careful out there. Now, I don't really have anything against this product. The unfortunate case in this and like many other FR products sold to welders is they don't test for UV exposure or they don't pass UV test exposure. And that's kind of dangerous as far as I'm concerned because welding is all about exposure to UV light. I mean, it's part of the process. So if you're trying to wear PPE to protect yourself against burns, odds are you're also trying to protect protect yourself against skin cancer, aka UV exposure. And if it can't do both of those, it's kind of not really that useful to you, if you know what I'm saying. So this, even though it's not marketed for UV protection, it probably should be designed to do that so that it's safer. So if you're using something like this for your neck to protect you against that UV, be careful. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to do some testing of it. You can simply buy this card which is pretty cheap on Amazon, throw it in here and put it out in the sun for 15 minutes or 10 minutes and see what happens. And like I said earlier, if you can see light through it, like I can kind of with this, you're not blocking shit. So be careful. It's not worth getting skin cancer over this stuff. Beyond that, like I kind of said earlier, it really pays to do business with companies that have a reputation and a good reputation at that. And ones that, you know, probably test stuff to standards. Now, I proved that, okay, this is stamped with all sorts of standards, but they're all like safety impact rating. It has nothing to do with UV exposure, which this is unsafe as hell in. So you got to watch it. Just because someone throws some numbers and some standards at you doesn't mean dick, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Beyond that, be safe and make sure you wear your damn PPE. I can't tell you enough, I don't want to see guys welding in t-shirts and stuff. It's not cool. Like in the long run, it's when you get your skin all cut up to remove all that cancer, like some of the people I know, it's not good, man. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Until next time.